Hey kids! Sea anemones and corals are part of a class called Anthozoa. They are invertebrates and belong to the phylum Nidarians. Let's go over these two invertebrate animals. Let's begin with sea anemones. Sea anemones come in a variety of colors and shapes. However, each one is basically a small sac consisting of a column-shaped body that ends in an oral disc. In the middle of this disc is its mouth, which is surrounded by tentacles that are used for defense. The sea anemone has nematocysts, which are also called stinging cells on its tentacles. Their defense mechanism can be triggered when touched, which they then release toxin into their victims. Most of the time, the sea anemone remains in one place. But if it is continually attacked by predators, it can detach its adhesive foot and swim to a new location. Sea anemones eat fish, mussels, zooplankton, and worms. Sea anemones live in rocks, ocean bottoms, and reefs worldwide. Now let's talk about corals. Corals are sea animals that stay in one place throughout their adult lives. Some types produce a skeleton, which is also called coral, that remains in place after they die. Corals can be very colorful underwater, but most types fade when they die or are removed from the water. Corals live in all the oceans of the world. Some types live alone. Many types live together in groups called colonies. Several different types of corals together can form enormous colonies called coral reefs. The largest coral reef in the world is the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia. The many types of coral include stony, soft, black, thorny, and blue corals. As they grow, corals form different patterns and shapes. They may look like feathers, fingers, branches, or even a brain. The body of a coral is called a polyp. The polyp is a hollow structure that attaches to a surface. At the top of the polyp is a mouth surrounded by tentacles. The tentacles bring small sea animals to the mouth. The tentacles also have stingers that paralyze prey. Corals have a skeleton that may be outside or inside the body. Stony corals have a hard outside skeleton made of a mineral called calcium carbonate. To reproduce, corals produce eggs that develop into tiny swimming creatures called planulae. Planulae eventually settle on a surface and develop into polyps. Some types of coral may live for hundreds of years. And there you go! I hope you enjoyed learning about antozoans today. Take care now! Bye-bye! If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!